move on to a song called Oh Holy Night. You all heard it. And this song has an interesting story to me. It began in 1847 when a poet named Placide Capo uh, wrote a Christmas poem that he thought should be set to music. So he turned to his friend Adolphe Charles Adams, who was a very famous composer of the day, and he wrote a melody for Capo's poem. And it was performed three weeks later on Christmas Eve. People loved it. They started singing it in churches all over Europe. It became a huge hit. Uh, and then, then things got a little sideways. Uh, Capo suddenly became an outspoken socialist and anti cleric So now the church had a problem. They were faced with the fact that the writers of this beautiful Christmas song were in Capo's case an anti-clerical socialist and Charles Adams was Jewish so if it weren't for Capo you know becoming an enemy of the church they probably would have overlooked Adams being Jewish they didn't really care about that but the church felt that it had to act uh, so they declared O Holy Night to be unfit for church services because of its, and this was the church's official statement, because of its total absence of the spirit of religion. Oh, holy night. <laughs> but like I said, people loved the song, and even though they couldn't sing it in church anymore, they sang it pretty much everywhere else. It found its way to this country in the 1850s somewhere, and it's gone on to become rec recognized as one of the most beautiful and inspired pieces of music ever written.
Brian.